25 years ago, I was a fellow at Tanglewood, and Tanglewood is the music, is, is the Boston Symphony's music home in the Berkshires, their summer home. And they have a fellowship program for composers and for all instrumentalists, and I got to be a fellow there 25 years ago. And when I went there, I decided that I was going to try to use my time there to find out about composers I didn't know about or composers I didn't like. And the student orchestra was playing a symphony by Jean Sibelius, his second symphony. I thought I hated Sibelius. So I decided, Leonard Bernstein was conducting, so I figured I'm going to go to every rehearsal of Leonard Bernstein conducting this piece because if anyone can either illuminate why I don't like it or make me like it, it's going to be him. And in fact, that's what happened. I remember very clearly sitting in the rehearsal. He got to the, the high point of the first movement, and it was as if a door opened. I thought, oh, in fact, Sibelius isn't the worst composer. He's the greatest composer. Um, what I love about his music is that he has a very unique sense of musical time. Um, time feels suspended to me in his music. It... Uh, feels or sounds to me like the landscape in which he lived. He, he was from Finland, and, and he had a house on a lake, and it was this sort of broad expanse of ice and snow in the winter, and very, very beautiful. Um, and that's what his music sounds like to me. Uh, a more recent composer is a composer named Morton Feldman, who was mostly friends with painters. He and John Cage, who was an avant-garde 20th century composer, were very close, but Feldman was mostly inspired by painters, and I think you can hear that in his, in his music. His music sounds like audible painting to me, which is what I aspire to in my own music. 